the dazzle, the sparkle, the glamour. If I told you that these mega ship cruises can impact you sitting at your home right now watching this video, would you believe me? Hi, my name is Victoria and I'm an A-level student studying maths, for the maths and economics. And I firmly believe that economics is part of everything in this life, even the most spectacular. So if you're interested in how economics and mega cruise ships impacts you, then that's what I'm here for. Fast forward to a couple of weeks later and here I am after my first cruise. After boarding this massive ship which held around 10,000 people, I began to think about how these ships and these cruise lines impact the economy. To start off, I looked at the stats and in 2025, the estimated number of global cruise goers is 37.1 million people. That is a lot of people. Having this amount of people means that cruise lines can output $138 billion worth of economic output each year and support 1.2 million jobs. Of course, these numbers aren't exact and will vary quite a lot on different platforms that you search for them for. However, it really does give you a good estimate and a good understanding of how massive the cruise ship impact is on the economy. And we are not stopping anytime soon. The demand for these cruises continues to grow. Not only are they selling the dream of luxury on water, they are also cheaper than a general land holiday from around 15 to 20 percent cheaper. So before we actually get into how these cruises are impacting you as an individual, we're going to look at how they make a profit because it was definitely something that crossed my mind when I was looking at the ship. With so many costs, such as staffing, food, and the on-deck extra activities that you have, it was really a struggle for me to understand how they actually make enough profit to continue to be building these massive ships. It's so much more than just the ticket revenue. On deck, you'll have lots of extra activities that you can pay for, like a spa or getting your nails done. And this extra revenue then leads into the profit that these ships make. A personal example of one of these extras that they sell is Wi-Fi. And this was crazy because on the ship there was no Wi-Fi at all unless you paid for a super expensive extra package. So if you're thinking about going on a cruise at any point, I really highly suggest looking into whether your ship has Wi-Fi or not and how expensive the package is. So most of the profit comes more from these extra things rather than the ticket revenue itself. But here is an image of where the ship actually spends all of the money that it gets in and it shows you how much profit they have left over roughly after each cruise. So now the part about how this cruise and the economics of the cruise actually impacts you as a person. Wherever you are, whether you've been a cruise or whether you've not been on a cruise, it doesn't matter. This industry is too big and too fast growing for you to ignore. As mentioned before, the cruise ships highly impact the global economy, but they will also impact local economies. And so, especially if you're living by a town by the sea, it's highly likely that your local economy will have been impacted by this cruise ship. There'll be more people spending more on shore, so small businesses, ports, and just local shops in your little local town will have increased because of this cruise bringing so many people to it. There will also be a lot more jobs available which means people have more money to spend and that goes back into the economy and continues to circle around because they'll spend more of your income, that'll boost the businesses, businesses can expand, hire more people, more people have more disposable income and so it goes. Of course, there are always drawbacks as with everything. An example was Venice where cruise ship visitors made up 73% of tourists, but only made up 18% of spending. There is also the environmental impact of building these cruise ships, of having more of them, bigger, better, and that is concerning for the world. Australia is actually limiting cruise ship manufacturing to prevent over-tourism and environmental damage. So it's a lot harder to go on a cruise in Australia. Despite the drawbacks, there is no denying that this sector is becoming increasingly more important in the macroeconomic outlook on things. Let me know whether you think cruises are going to be beneficial or detrimental to our economy down in the comments below. That brings us to the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe and I will see you very soon with new economics content.